What's going on YouTube? This is a video on how to get your numbers as far as bulking, what macros you should be hitting. And I also created another video about bulking. It's pretty much the parameters of bulking, how to eat, how to supplement during a bulk. So this video right here is solely on your numbers, like your macros and calories. The other video kind of goes over what bulking is and all the parameters. So if you want to check that one out, here's a link to it at the bottom here. So grab a piece of paper and a pen and get ready to write some numbers down. You're going to figure out what your macros are, which is grams of carbs, grams of protein, and grams of fat. These are the numbers you should be aiming for every single day. A great website I found to figure out what your maintenance is. And what a maintenance is, is um, your calories needed to stay the exact same weight. So if you eat so-and-so calories, you're going to not lose a pound, not gain a pound. So you want to figure out your maintenance, and a very good site to do this is freedieting.com. They have a calculator. I'll list the link in the description. So go there, um, fill out the quick form. It just has your age, height, etc., and figure out what your maintenance is. So this is a screenshot from the freedieting.com calculator. Um, so you should be filling out something like this, and we're just using this as an example. So 25 years old, 160 pounds. Five foot eight, um, exercise level five times a week, and I, I'm hoping a lot of you guys are gonna put five times a week as well, because that's about what you should be doing at least four times, in my opinion. So go ahead and push the calculate button, and you'll get your maintenance, that very top number. Ignore the two um, numbers right below it. So for this person, their maintenance is 2,225. I rounded up. Um, so for a bulk, you want to exceed your calories by at least 200 and up to 600. So we're going to go ahead and say we're going to do 300 additional calories and that's a great place to start and you can definitely come back and kind of change your numbers depending on how the first week or two goes and I'll, I'll, I'll talk about that a little bit more later on. So we added 300 to our maintenance and we got 2,525 calories per day. Okay, so first thing we're going to figure out is the protein intake. Um, this is very simple. Just take your body weight, and that's how many grams of protein you should be getting. So for our person, they're 160 pounds, so it's 160 grams of protein. And remember, guys, one gram of protein is equivalent to four calories. So 160 grams of protein equals 640 calories, because that's 160 times four. So you got your protein number down, and now it's time to figure out your fats. This is also very simple. Just take 0.5 times your body weight. So the person that's 160, uh, I'm sorry, 160 pounds, you do that times 0.5, and you'll get 80 grams of fat. And remember, guys, one gram of fat is 9 calories. So 80 grams of fat equals 720 calories. All right, so here comes the slightly tricky part is the carb part of it. Um, you want to figure out um, how many calories you have remaining. So remember, our person, their maintenance was 2225 calories, and we added 300 to make it 2525 calories needed. So you take that 2525, you minus the 640 calories you figured out from your protein, and then you minus the 720 calories that you figured out for your fat. Now remember, these are all going to be your own numbers, but this is just for example. So that leaves you with 1,165 calories remaining. And you guys, carbs are also 4 calories, just like protein. So protein and carbs are 4 calories each per gram, and 1 gram of fat is 9 calories. So with the 1,165 calories you have remaining, you want to divide that by 4. And in this case, we got 291 grams of carbs. So here's a quick overview of our example if you want to look over the numbers. And um, I just want to point out, like I said at the beginning, you can definitely adjust these numbers. I know we only went 300 over our maintenance, and it all depends on what your body type is. So if you are a really hard gainer like me, an ectomorph, I actually did plus 500 calories instead of 300. Um, if, if you gain weight really easily, you might even do 200. But I think 300 is definitely a good place to start. Um, kind of gauge how much weight you're losing every week 
and adjust from there. Uh, the only thing that's going to change are your carb numbers. So you're going to adjust from there, and I'd say that um, any more than two pounds is definitely way too much to gain in one week. About one pound per week is pretty good to aim for, maybe a little bit less than a pound a week. So if you're gaining more than two pounds, you definitely want to cut down your carbs. If you're not gaining even half a pound every week, you definitely want to kick your carbs up. All right, guys, so I guess um, that's all I got for you. Hopefully that helps you figure out your numbers. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment box below. I can try to answer them if you want me to like look at your numbers or something. Um, it's my service to you. Like I said in the last video, we just reached 500 subscribers, and we really appreciate all the support. So we kind of um, built this channel to really help everyone out. That's the goal. So we'll definitely try to help out. Just leave your questions or comments in the box below, or you can email us. And until next time, guys.